prominent Democrats are now turning their back on Kamala Harris. They don't want her. This is a sinking ship. You guys gotta check this out. Promoting X, Y, and Z candidate. This is the person that must replace Joe Biden. The one name I keep seeing these days is Governor Josh Shapiro from Pennsylvania. A lot of leftoids posting this clip right over here. I, I grew up in a comfortable middle class home. My mom, a school teacher, she was a public school teacher in Philly till she had me and my siblings and she was an educator later in her life. My dad was just like the local pediatrician, the local baby doc. and they were very focused on helping others. Mm -hmm. And also, as I said before, you know, Charlemagne, faith played a really central role in our lives. Every Friday night, we were around that Sabbath dinner table, something my wife and I continue to do for our kids today, grounding us in, in our faith, in our faith that teaches us to go out and work for others. And, and then saying, if this guy runs, Trump doesn't stand a chance, he just wins. <laughs> you know, the same thing we heard from Bill Maher not too long ago, suggesting that Gavin Newsom replaced Biden because he's the guy who can beat Trump. One reason I want him to run for president, well, is because he's obviously a winner. This guy could f do it. It's insane that we have the guy, but we can't run him because we have to winner. tiptoe around Biden and the final winner. It's funny they can call Gavin Newsom a winner when his own state hated him so much that they had a recall election and he went up against Larry Elder and there were suspicious things happening when they were counting the votes. I'm trying to be as objective as possible. I just don't see any Democratic candidate that can compete to Donald Trump in a free and fair election. Nobody's well liked. And that's exactly why Kamala's leading the ticket right now, because there's simply no other options. Like, who else are you going to choose? Candidate to beat Trump, and that's the candidate to beat Trump. Leftoids are getting real excited in their copium induced dreams. Essentially, they've given up on Joe Biden and they're trying to move on to the next big thing. And mostly, this is happening due to the increased calls for Joe Biden to step down. We're seeing more prominent Democrats joining in, trying to get Joe Biden to step aside. And so, Democrats are trying to remain hopeful, thinking that if they simply replace Joe, that automatically all their problems go away. But I'll just keep saying it that simply won't happen that isn't the case. I mean, I don't really know what these people are thinking. Replace Joe Biden three months ahead of election day with almost no political track record from the state of Pennsylvania, Josh Shapiro, because why exactly? Because he's a well-spoken middle-aged white man? That seems to be the only thing I can gather. Democrats are pointing the finger at anybody who fits the Gavin Newsom bill and just saying, pick that guy, that's the guy who solves all our problems. I'm just not buying it. You know, Democrats keep posting this link. First major poll since assassination attempt shows Trump losing to a younger Democrat in swing states. Basically, there was an Emerson poll that asked voters who would you vote for, Donald Trump or an unnamed young Democrat, and supposedly Trump is losing to the unnamed young Democrat, and for some reason that proves that literally any Democrat who's just Joe Biden's junior is instantly the key to victory. Come on, can somebody miss me with this stupid crap? An unnamed Democrat. You know, that kind of survey obviously cannot be trusted, it's not scientifically sound at all, because basically you're putting Trump, who's got political baggage like any other normal human being in the world of politics, you're putting a known commodity with the good, bad, and the ugly versus an idea, a young, forward-thinking, common-sense Democrat. It sounds lovely. I know Democrats are celebrating this poll, but there's only one problem. Democrats, you don't have a young, common-sense Democrat to run. It's almost like the Democratic Party in 2024 is so far left and radical, it seems like everything they do is polar opposite to common sense. And also with the polls, I don't know why anyone would put any faith into this because the day before election day in 2016, they had Donald Trump losing by 10 plus points the day before the election. I have to keep in mind, a lot of Donald Trump's voters are reticent voters. They support him, but they're not going to say it publicly. A lot of these Democrats nowadays, if they find out that you like Trump, they're going to look at you differently. It's almost like they'll consider you a cult member. That's why you can't really put any weight into these polls. But what do you notice? Trump leads across the board, and this is before the attempt on his life. The simple fact here is, and I'm going to repeat it, I know I've said it a million times, but Democrats simply don't have another option. And they've also got a problem with picking another option. As pollster Frank Luntz puts it, there are some Biden replacements who could give Trump a, quote, run for his money, but none of those candidates are Kamala Harris. And that right there is a huge, fundamental problem. See, Democrats are calling for Joe Biden to drop out of the race. There's also speculation, and there's even been some 
from reports that Joe Biden's already agreed to step aside and, quote, he has no intention of endorsing Kamala Harris. That's a huge problem. Who's supposed to be next in line if the president can no longer carry his duties? It's supposed to be his vice president. And now again, we come to that same fundamental problem. We're three months away from election day, maybe four months, I don't know, didn't do the calendar math. You get the point, we're really close to election day. And not only are Democrats talking about pulling their candidate off the ballot, but they're also talking about scrapping the vice president, essentially, and just building a brand new ticket in a way. Even if Kamala Harris stays on as vice president, it's still a brand new ticket. It doesn't make any sense. It would signal utter dysfunction, and on top of all of it, it probably also wouldn't go so well with young voters and people of color, as Sonny Hostin puts it. Um, Kamala, if she is leapfrogged and there's just some open convention, no Democratic nominee can win without the black vote. Black women will not support Kamala Harris being looked over. Why? Because she is ready, overlooked. But she is ready to be the president. She's been in the Oval Office with him. She's been in the Situation Room with him. How dare people suggest that she is incompetent? But isn't this unfair? It's possible that if they skipped over Kamala Harris, that would be viewed as the ultimate F you to black voters across the nation. You mean to tell me that that's your genius play, Democrats? To head of the election, snub the vice president, snub all the black voters who support her, and then pick some random no-name Democrat because he's a regular, harmless-looking white dude? I'm sorry, but it just doesn't make sense to me. I know everybody wants to be ahead of the curve. They're going to be the one who predicted that Joe Biden was going to drop out of the race two years ahead of when it happened. As cool as that might be, I just can't rationalize it. The political calculus seems, frankly, idiotic. I cannot visualize that young Democrat guy leapfrogging Kamala Harris for the sheer fact these people are so focused on race and inclusion and DEI that they would never allow that to happen. This guy could be George Washington and they would still put Kamala over him for the sheer fact that she checks a box. It's not that she can do the job better than anybody else, but it's the sheer fact. She's African American or is she Indian? I don't even know. Is she Native American? CNN has reported one time that she was Native American, another time that she's African American. Like, what's going to happen next year? Is she going to be Scottish? Joe Biden's doing with black voters, and and by the way, it continues to get worse. There was a poll out today, a poll of African-American women uh, showing a 31-point drop in support from 2020, 2020 to 2024 in terms of plans to vote for yeah. President Biden. Yeah, snubbing your vice president who's supposedly this historic figure, the first female black vice president in American history, doesn't exactly seem like a good play. And what's the other option? Going with Kamala Harris? Well, also probably not a good idea, considering some of the latest polls have her down by 10 points in some of the most important swing states. Look at this. She's obviously not the candidate. The way I see it is the way I've seen it for a while now. Democrats had the option to replace Joe Biden. That was like eight months to a year ago. That's when they had the option. Now it's obviously too late. Even if they could do it, the question is, should they do it? And also another question that should be asked is, can they do it? Is Joe Biden going to accept stepping down? Again, doesn't exactly seem in his character. Biden is gone. I don't know what happened to him, but he just has not been spotted in like a week. But the thing about Kamala versus Joe Biden, she polls exponentially. But she polls so much worse than Joe Biden in all of these key swing states. So I don't know why on earth they would make this shift to Kamala. It begs the question, what on earth are they up to? All that we know, they could throw in Michelle Obama tomorrow. The View host there did make a compelling point. If they do pick somebody else instead of Kamala, that would annoy so many liberals that they just might refuse to vote out of spite. The Democratic Party is in shambles. They are free falling right now. Meanwhile, Donald Trump is on a rocket ship to the White House. These next three, four months are going to be the most interesting and crazy times in political history, I am convinced. But yeah, let me know what you think is going to happen down below. Let me know all your crazy conspiracies. I would love to hear that. And if you enjoyed, make sure to smash that like, comment, subscribe, and wish you guys nothing but the best. Till next time.